Hi, in this video, I want to show you how we can use GeoGebra to graph inverse trig functions. So let me open GeoGebra, and this is the default window that we set up earlier. Go to input. So for the inverse trig functions, usually it's our, um, you know sine with a negative 1, right? things like that. But then the input is going to be f of x equals to how to graph inverse sine. What you want to do is you can type in arc sine of x like this. And that's it. You just type in r sine. Or maybe you can just type in a sign if you would like. And it's going to show you um, this is the graph for arc sign, okay, the inverse sine function. And you can also do the same for the others. Let's say g of x, this is the a cosine, the inverse cosine function. And you get that. And to make a distinction, once again, you can double click on this and make this arc sign blue, for example, color, let's say blue, and the arc sign, let's say, make it in red. And you can do the same for the other trig functions as well. So maybe let's say a tent. So this is r tangent. And notice that I didn't even label like what this is. I didn't even label this as h of x or things like that. But if you just enter that, it's automatically assigned you a name for that. This is a tangent, namely r tangent. So that's pretty much it. And of course, you can also do any of the derivative of these functions. If you would like, let's put f prime of x. And now, pop quiz for you. What's the derivative of inverse sine? And you should tell me. 1 over square root of negative x squared plus 1. Or well, 1 minus x squared. Put you at the, put you at the word that you want. So, very, very cool, right? And perhaps you can just do g prime of x. And that's the derivative of inverse cosine. And h prime of x, derivative of inverse tangent. That's it. But then um, you don't want to have too many graphs on the paper at the one time, so you can want to you want to like click, uh, click them off. So this is the inverse trig functions, and of course there are like three others. But I will leave you from here.